I have had a realization and I cannot believe it took me this long, but if I say today we are building a top hinge shape cutout card in Silhouette Studio, which we are, you guys take that information and say, okay, now I know how to build a top hinge shape cutout card. But the focus of today's video are three core functions in Silhouette Studio. We're looking at weld, we're looking at a line, and we are looking at replicate. And I want you to take these lessons, these core functions in Silhouette Studio and apply what you learned today to other projects throughout so that you can start creating and building the exact designs that you want in your library. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette and you have found your way to Silhouette Success and today is the day that we start learning instead of just following steps. We are going to take these things and we are going to apply them to each and every build in the future. Are you ready? We are working with some really cute snow people today. I did design this in Silhouette Studio and this file is available with the lesson that I have for sale over on Podia. That lesson over there shows you how to make side hinge cards. Today we're making top hinge cards. I did create the file so that all three cut files came in together and they are grouped. Let's ungroup and we can slide these two off to the side. We are concentrating on the couple for right now. In order to make the card base, we need to open up our offset panel, select the cut file, click on offset, and I have mine set to 0.100. This gives us a decent amount of room to work with. Let's click on apply. You can see right here in the middle, there's an extra cutout. I do not want that hole in my card base. So we can right click and release the compound path. Now we need to select just that piece, right click and delete. And now we're left with a solid card base. We are making progress. Let's move on and open up the replicate panel now. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the replicate panel. You can duplicate, make different rows and columns, fill the page, but I think that a lot of people are missing these bottom options and this is the one we're working with today. Let's select our outline and you know what, we can fill it in with color real quick so that we can see it better. With that outline selected, we are going to click on mirror above and that has duplicated the base. It's kept it completely in line with the bottom one. It's flipped it upside down. The top and bottom edges here are touching. This is almost perfect, but we need the top one and the bottom one to overlap just slightly. So I'm going to use the arrow on my keyboard and just bump it down twice. Now we can select the bottom one, hold down my shift key, and click on that. Both are selected. We can right click and weld them together. Now the card base is one solid piece. You can see it's not going to cut at the tops of the hats. We do, however, want it to fold here. So let's go over to the drawing tools and select a line. We can hold down our shift key to keep that completely straight and pull that out. That's a little bit longer than it needs to be, but it works in this case. It's fine. At this point, you need to decide if you are going to score this line with an embossing tool or cut it with the blade. If you are using an embossing tool, you will set this line to use tool two in the send page. If you are going to use your auto blade, you can come up to this little drop down menu here and choose the perforated line and now that's going to cut a dashed line right in the middle there and it will create a nice fold line for you. We do need this to be right in the middle of this design though so let's hold down our shift key once again select our card base and we can click on this center button and that's going to make sure it is lined up exactly where we need it to be. And since it is right where we need it to be, we don't want it to move around. Let's right click and group those together. Now, if we right click and send this to the back, our snow couple is visible again. And you can see here 
that this is sized just about perfectly for a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. If you are using an eight and a half by 11, switch this over to letter size. Of course, you're going to want to scale this down a bit. You want to make sure all of the pieces have been selected, right click and group. In my opinion, it just scales a little bit smoother. We can grab one of these corners and just shrink it down until it fits on the page. Everything is within the red cut border and that looks perfect. We do still need to work on our snow couple just a little bit. Let's get rid of these over here. They're cute and all, but we don't need them at this point. We can ungroup our design over here. And I'm going to bring our little snow couple off to the side so we can concentrate on them and have some room to work. Again, I did design these cut files for ease of use. Everything has been separated and grouped together by color. So let's ungroup and we can pull this layer away. This is the white base. The black outline goes next. And I did try to cut the black outline out of cardstock and it didn't do great along the fringes. So I ended up using adhesive vinyl. It worked like a charm. It laid down on the white cardstock beautifully and it gave me a template so that I made sure I got all of these little pieces glued in place properly. Let's move this over to the side because we want to cut that separate from our white base. And you can see that the snowman's hat and scarf are all one color. That is grouped together. We do need to ungroup the snow ladies accessories here. I have her nose in orange and I have the arm in brown, but when I cut it, I just cut these out of the same piece of cardstock. And you can see that this hat and scarf are still grouped together. That makes it super simple when you go over to the send page just to start cutting. Our card base is on there now. We can finish up with that. We move that off and bring on the different accessories and the snow people base and layer by layer get everything cut out. If you followed along, completed your card, I would love to see them over on Facebook. You can join the group. The link will be in the description. Now, I did mention that I have a lesson on card making for the side hinge cards. This has the straight edge, which gives you a sturdier hinge instead of just the couple of folding points at the top. I have this design and this design in that lesson. You get all three of the cut files and then you work to create the card base. There is a bonus lesson at the end where you take these steps and create your own design. There's a lot of learning packed into it. There are step-by-step -step instructions with pictures. If you do want to grab it, that will be linked in the description as well. Now carry all of this information into everything you do in Silhouette Studio. Create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.